Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be jailbreaking and restoring my Apple iPod Touch 4th generation. Now I got it stuck in DFU mode because I tried to update to iOS 6.1.2 whilst jailbroken. Yep, pretty stupid thing of me to do, but now I'm stuck with it and all the other methods of getting out of DFU mode haven't worked so I'm going to have to restore it. But I'm going to download the jailbreak software and I'm going to show you exactly where to get it from. So you're going to want to type in evasion. The O has to be a zero by the way. Just click enter and then you should see evasion.com. Just click on that. As you can see the evasion and it shows you all the different devices. So iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, iPhone 4S, iPod Touch 5th Gen, iPhone 5, iPad Mini, iPad 2, 3 and 4. iPod Touch 4th Generation is supported, but it just doesn't have it on here for some reason. So, I'm running Windows, I'm running Windows 8, and I don't have a Mac yet, hoping to get one though. So I'm just going to click Windows, and if you're running a Mac or Linux, then you're going to get them. So then you click here to download your attachment. So you wait for it to load up here. And as you can see, it is down here. Okay, so once it's done, you're going to click on it. And then you're going to double click the folder. And you're going to double click this it should be an application and it will be 10,000 around 10,000 kilobytes all right so double click that then you're going to want to e extract all because all the files in there are zipped so you're going to want to extract them and once that is done you're going to double click again and then you're going to click it as you can see there is a different sort of icon for it now that's because it is done so we're just going to click yes and now welcome so it's just 10 new 6 through 6.1.2 probably the second easiest jailbreak ever i'd say the first uh, the easiest jailbreak ever was for iOS 3.1.3 or lower where you could go to the site called jailbreak me on your device and that is no longer available so evasion is quick and simple and as you can see I downloaded in real time so you can see it doesn't take that long to download at all now I've got version 1.5 that is currently the latest version 2013 now before I do this I need to restore my device so I'm going to go into iTunes and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that okay so now I'm back on and I've got iTunes open and as you can see I am just about to restore so as you can see in the corner I've got my Apple Touch here I'm going to set it down just over there. Got the cable right here, 30 pin connector. So we just pop my camera down. Plug that in. And then I'm going to plug it into my USB port right here. And now, as you can see, it says iTunes has detected an iPod in recovery mode. You must restore this iPod before you can use it with iTunes. So there's no way around this as far as I know and I've been looking literally all day. So I'm just going to click OK. Now we won't need to see the iPod for a little bit now. So we're going to click restore and we're going to click restore and update because it was on 6.1.1 and now we'll be on 6.1.2 so at the top here it's extracting software and this shouldn't take too long and as you can 
see it's almost done. I did pause the recording purely to save space. I don't have the most amount of space on my laptop at the moment, so I've done that just for the sake of that. But it only took about a minute. So now it's verifying iPod to restore with Apple. This is the second time I've had to restore this lately. It's not very good. And as you can see now, the Apple logo has come up on my iPod Touch. And this has come up because it is downloading the update and restoring it as well. So as you can see here, it's installing the device. And it's waiting for iPod, as you can also see on the screen. So, I'm going to turn this camera off, and then it will be done soon. Okay, verifying iPod restore. And restoring iPod software. Okay guys, <coughs> this option has just come up to set up your iPod and it says set up as a new iPod or restore from backup of Reese's iPod today at 1.18. I didn't even know I'd done that. But as you can see here, we plug this in properly. And a second guys. There we go. Alright, it has come up as if it's a new iPod, uh, iPod, but I'm just going to restore it to how it was earlier. And I know this won't get any of my Cydia stuff back, but it will get my games back and things like that. Hopefully it should get my contacts back as well, so I'm just going to click continue. I would be using display recorder, but I just don't want anything to mess up again. So this just load in. Restore in progress. Progress, sorry. <laughs> so I will come back to you in about four or five minutes time as it says there. Okay, be back in a minute. Okay guys, so now we are back on the computer. Now I'm sorry but as I said before, I didn't want it to interfere so I had to use my camera. But we're all back and running now and as you're about to see in a minute you're going to see what state my iPod's in. It saved all my photos and everything like that. Still got messages on there, still got emails. It saved all my contacts and all stuff like that. But I don't have any apps as you can see I only have one page. I only have three apps in my dock because I had five when I was jailbroken. Now I'm not jailbroken so I only have four. But one of the apps that was in there was a downloaded app, Google Chrome, so that's not on there either. So it's kind of been half successful. And now I'm going to be jailbroken, so let's get straight to that. Right, so I'm gonna open Evasion. And the little error came up because I restored but now it should work so I'm just going to unplug my device, plug back in and then I will come back in a second I recommend you back up anyway and I backed it up because when I restored it didn't put all my apps back on and things like that it just put, it kept my contacts and my photos so I thought I might as well back them up so now I'm done let's jailbreak so you're just gonna gonna want to plug in your device once you've downloaded this software like you saw earlier and then you're gonna click jailbreak it's as simple as that so we're gonna click jailbreak ignore that message at the top as you can see there you can see everything is doing and don't forget to unlock your device before you do this or no you need to take the passcode off and to do that go to settings general passcode lock you need to put in your passcode and then it you click turn passcode off you put in your passcode again and it'll be done so 
So because I've just restored, mine has to do a quick reboot. I'm going to turn the camera off because we don't want this video to be too long and then I'm going to come back in a second. Okay, so I've taken the passcode off. Always remember to do that. If you don't do that, then it will not work. So, let's just see. What does it say on here? Welcome Invasion is an untethered jailbreak for iOS 6 through 6.1.2. Uploading Cydia, do not touch your device. Notes, please make a backup of your device before applying the jailbreak, which I've done. We don't think there are any problems. There will be any problems, sorry. But we can't make any guarantees. Use evasion at your own risk. Evasion C 2013. Jailbreak exploits by these people. Graphic design by these people. Okay. So it's uploading Cydia and you can't touch or do anything with your device while it's doing this. In a minute it's gonna to wanna to ask us to tap the icon the evasion icon on our springboard but we're just going to wait for that. Possibly up to five minutes. So I'm just going to I'll come back in a minute. Okay to continue please unlock your device and tap the new jailbreak icon. Only tap it once the screen will go black and return to, to the home screen. So what I'm going to do now I'm just going to pick up my device, now that I've unlocked it, I'm going to go over here, see right there, it's the jailbreak icon, it says jailbreak, you can't see that very well, just tap it once, the screen will go black and then it will go back to that, that is fine, just leave it like that and that is perfectly fine, just leave it, don't touch it or do anything, okay? Okay, so now, preparing final jailbreak data. Now, once it's done, there we go, as you can see, jailbreak complete. Your device will reboot maybe two or three times. Mine is currently rebooting at the moment. You can exit this now. So, that's, that is all done. Okay. So now, it's just rebooting my de device. This has been a successful job. I'm just going to show you a little bit. Doing some stuff right there. Booting up. And then in a minute, screen will go white like that. Installing offsets. And it will install a lot of different things. May take about a minute or so. So when it's done, it'll come back. So as you can see here, this evasion icon is now turned into a city icon. Now this has been an extremely successful jailbreak. I will be doing more video app reviews of jailbreak tweaks and showing you different sources and things like I have done before. I'm going to put a lot of my jailbreak stuff back on so you can see exactly what I do. When you first open City, it will take a bit of a long time because it needs to download packages and things like that. Don't worry about that, it's all no normal and the City will exit when it's complete. So just go back into it after like say 20 seconds and it should be all fine. So thank you for watching this was the jailbreaking of my iPod Touch 4th generation and I shall see you in the next video guys comment, rate and subscribe, see you next